Scope of Application The GlobeCore Vacuum Regeneration Laboratory Unit, UVRL, is designed for the regeneration and lightening of dielectric insulating oil, turbine oil, and industrial mineral oils. The viscosity of the regenerated product at 50 degrees Celsius must not exceed 70 centis strokes. The maximum moisture content cannot exceed more than 200 grams per ton. Industrial oils can be regenerated after removal of fuel, water, oxy acids, polycarbons, and asphalt. Design. The unit consists of 1. A regeneration pod, 2. A frame, 3. A vacuum chamber, 4. A vacuum pump, and 5. Piping. The regeneration pod is a vessel half filled with sorbent that regenerates the percolating oil. Sorbent and oil enter the pod from the top. The bottom of the pod has a lower lid that is removable. Vacuum is drawn through a valve in the lower lid. The lower lid also serves to allow the removal of saturated sorbent. The regenerated oil is also pumped out of the pod through the lower lid. The external surface of the pod is wrapped with insulation and electrical heater tape. The frame is an all-metal structure supporting all the unit's components. The vacuum chamber is a rectangular vessel filled with regenerated oil. The top part of the vessel is filled with a ball valve to connect the chamber with the vacuum pump. The bottom of the vessel is equipped with a ball valve through which the oil is sucked into the vacuum vessel. A second valve is used to drain the oil. The vessel is also equipped with a visual liquid level meter and a vacuum gauge. The vacuum pump creates vacuum in the vacuum chamber. Principle of operation. First, 1.5 kilograms of regeneration powder is poured into the regeneration pod. The vacuum pump then creates vacuum in the vacuum chamber. The vacuum is indicated by the vacuum meter marked M. Next, the oil enters into the regeneration pod and oil heating is commenced. The oil then passes through the regeneration powder and flows to the vacuum chamber. The level of the oil in the vacuum chamber is indicated by the oil level meter welded into the chamber. Regenerated oil flows from the vacuum chamber through valve MV1. Safety. During the operation, some parts of the unit can reach a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. Such locations are marked with signs attention hot surface. So, always wear gloves when working with and servicing the unit. The electro motor is marked with the sign attention electric shock danger. Valves MV1 regenerated oil drain valve. MV2 sampling of oil from the regeneration pod valve. MV3 vacuum pump connection valve. Operation. Connect the vacuum pump and the valve MV3 with a Riesling tube. Attention. Before closing the lower lid of the regeneration pod, wipe the ledge between the lower lid and the surface of the pod. Any trace of fabric or particles of sorbent on the ledge will cause air to leak into the pod and cause low vacuum, which is unacceptable. After closing the lower lid of the pod, tighten the lid, securing nut. If the force holding the lid in place is not sufficient, regeneration sorbent will be washed from the pod. Fill the regeneration pod with sorbent to the mark on the internal surface of the module. Then even out the surface of the sorbent. Attention! Before starting the vacuum pump, make sure that valves MV1 and MV2 are closed. Start the vacuum pump. Open valve MV3 and pull negative 0.8 bars of vacuum in the vacuum chamber. To compact the powder in the pod, open valve MV2 for approximately 3 to 5 seconds. Compact the sorbent near the, near the walls of the pod by hand. Repeat this step three times. Then pour oil into the pod, leaving between 30 to 40 millimeters between the top of the pod and the oil level. Stop the vacuum pump. Engage the heater. 
Start the vacuum pump and pull negative 0.8 bars of vacuum in the vacuum chamber. Close valve MV3. Within approximately 15 to 20 minutes after compacting, gradually open valve MV2. Start the vacuum pump and open the valve MV3 from time to time to maintain negative 0.8 bars or so in the vacuum chamber. After stopping the vacuum pump, close valve MV3 to prevent air leaks. Observe the oil level in the pod. Add more oil as necessary to prevent heating of the pod without oil. Monitor the color of the oil in the Rilson tube flowing from the pod. Darkening of the oil means the sorbent is saturated. When the vacuum chamber is filled with oil, oil level has reached the mid-level mark in the level meter, close valve MV2 and stop the vacuum pump. Release vacuum by opening valve MV1. Before opening the valve, place a vessel under the valve to catch the oil that will drain from the pot. To continue operation, start the vacuum pump. Open valves MV2 and MV3 and close valve MV1. When the oil in the Rilson tube at the outlet of the pot darkens, stop adding oil to the pot. Disengage the heater and pump out the remaining oil in the pot until the sorbent is dry. Monitor vacuum in the system. Do not allow less than negative 0.7 bars of vacuum. Close valve MV2 and stop the vacuum pump. Remove the regeneration powder from the regeneration pod. Rinse the filter fabric with clean oil and purge with air.